lot for watching this video. You're probably wondering what to what should you print first when you buy a 3D printer. So I'm going to talk to you about that now. And so let's get let's jump right in. So the first thing I printed, well, this wasn't the exact first version I printed was this little calibration cube just to make sure my printer worked and it did I just need to change the settings but mostly it was a good print then I decided to scale it up and make a bigger version that way I could diagnose more problems possibly so I came out with this at the 20 millimeter version in the 10 millimeter version I'll have my thing uh, I I designed these all by myself in all of the 3ds max and they came out great uh, the blue one has little info bubbles for some reason I'm not so sure why but if you have a Flash Forge Creator Pro, the first, the first thing I think you should print is the red calibration tube here. And the next thing you should print is the tube clip that I featured. I did a community spotlight on it. This is on my channel. You can go find it. And it might also be in the description below depending on what I decide later. So here it is, and then you should print the tube bracket for the Flash Force Creator Pro. And I thought I was going to hit my lens there, but I ended up hitting the backdrop instead. So here it is, it might not, it doesn't look like it's the color green like it is, probably because of the camera, it looks way better in real life. It's made by Makersome, an awesome company. Go go check them out on YouTube and go and subscribe to them. They're awesome. You can see there. You can pause the video. And it fits super snug on the Flash Forge Creator Pro. And then, I think you should print it, the USB holder. Because it's a very handy and it's a nice thing to show your friends that 3D printing can do functional things. What else do I have here? That's basically all. And I know the film that comes to the flash forge, I did a review on it and and isn't that good. So what I recommend is wait for it. The MakerBot PLA. The reason why I recommend MakerBot PLA is because all those things that I just showed you. Hold on here. Just trying to get it can. Double new tripod. Hold on. The camera is just auto exposing. If I can get like the tube to stop it. Oh, and those calibration cubes also double for making sure your film doesn't move when you're trying to make a video. By the way, yeah, I need. That way I can talk about it. Can you stay there, filament? Oh god, this be exposed again. Now it's not focusing. I try to zoom in really close. Okay, if you if you guys can't read, will this work? Yes, that worked. Not again. 
Hold on, I'm trying to get it to focus. So anyway, while I'm trying to get this thing to focus, it says true red. I don't know if I can get I'm just going to read to you what it says. True red PLA small point two kilograms or half a pound. And I wrote two twenty on there because that's my recommended temperature. I know it says on the website to print at 2.15 and but I recommend 2.20 because I want to shoot at 2.15 so I know I'm trying just to get it to focus here's my hand I'm sorry about that as you can see it says reorder at makerwatch.com slash filament so that's where you want to go if you want make more makerwatch filament And there goes that spool. Back in the storage. So, I think that concludes this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, and look out for future live streams. More coming soon. I just did one yesterday. And I'll see you next time.